Hi everyone, welcome again to the course of structural biology. We are continuing with the module visualization. I have talked about the history of visualization, how from real life modeling with metal rod, with wood, with glass and all those sculpturing we have traveled to computer modeling and then computer model have improved significantly, we have talked about all of them. Then we talked about the files which are needed for visualization, we have talked about definitely dot pdb which is the most accepted file in this world and not only that pdb is also a name of a database protein data bank wwpdb is now the only database which have accommodate all possible 3D structures which are solved by any experimental methods of the biological macromolecule. Then we talked about a software could, what it does, how those softwares are developed. Today, we would be starting with the softwares which are majorly focused on to the visualization. Coat is also a visualization software, but people do more functional work like modification and all. So, let us come to 3D visualization with the visualization platforms and I would majorly focus on a software platform which is called PyMol. So, if we talk about molecular visualization softwares, as I told in the previous classes of this module, we have talked continuously about two type of visualization platform. One is molecular viewer come modifier like Frodo, Tom, O and most recently Coot which I talked in details which I demonstrate, but there are these softwares are mainly utilized because of their ability to molecular building, modification and related jobs and does not produce nice visualization, hence not good for producing publication quality figures. So, yes they are visualization platforms, but they are much more they are majorly working on model building like in crystallography you have electron density you come to CUT and you develop the model from the electron density. So, the other ones who are majorly molecular visualization softwares which help us in looking at molecular models in order to explore understand them to do analysis and more importantly making publication quality figures. Today, we will discuss some of the platforms used to be involved in dealing primarily on visualization aspects of the 3D model of macromolecules, protein, DNA, RNA, their complexes, protein small molecule, DNA small molecule, protein, 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 protein DNA and all sort of them and not on the modification of them. These are software tools which help us doing analysis of the biological macromolecules and related interactions. Also, those softwares are involved in making high resolution publication quality figures. So, you do your modification, you do your analysis and all and then come to these platforms and produce high resolution figures which would be accepted for your publication. And when we talk about them, we have a flow starting from ORTEP. ORTEP is the first kind of computational platform and then it comes to script writing, mall script, bob script, then there are you know pobre, raster 3D which helps improve the quality of the figure and last but not the least the visualization platforms like Rasmol, Chime, Molmol, CN3D and many others. 
we will try to have a look in brief about those or tape we have already talked about in 1965 Carol K. Johnson of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, he released or tape which is a program to produce stereoscopic drawings of molecular and crystal structures with a pen plotter. So, they use a pen plot and correlate with the computer and according to the change in the structure the pain here it, it plot and you will see this is a stereoscopic illustration of the alpha helix produced with orthip. It was created in with photon language and first released in 1965 as I told orthip is named because it is Oak Ridge Thermal Ellipsoid Plot program that is why OTEP it was extremely popular in structural biology community of that time because this was the only software which have helped them produce publication quality figures and it had greater strength to generate stereoscopic images automatically. How popular is that? One of the historical evidence come from the fact that a letter which I also talked about from John Kendrew appreciating Dr. Johnson, Dr. Carol K. Johnson was the inventor of ORTEP about the ORTEP produced stereoscopic figure of myoglobin which can makes Kendrew very happy and this is a historical incident in the journey of molecular visualization. This is also proof of how ORTEP was popular at that time so that John Kendrew, the Nobel laureate, the first one to solve the structure of protein, the myoglobin have appreciated the work of Carol K. Johnson. Now coming to scripting, MOL script. MOL script is a program for creating schematic or detailed molecular graphics images from molecular 3D coordinates usually, but not exclusively for protein structure. It could use to make image of many other things like in other fields, but MOL script have taken very critical role in bringing high resolution images. We will see them. The user supplies an input file actually when I have started my career as a PhD student in the initial years the PyMOL had already appeared, but we used to make figures using MOL script. It is not that we had to make the entire script, there are lot of script there we take that script and change them according to the requirement of our structure. So, the user supplies an input file the script which specifies the coordinate file, what objects to render and the exact appearance of the objects through the graphic state parameters. One thing is true that if you still go back and make prepare figures with mall script, you will see generally the figures are very high resolution. That is my personal experience. There is a helper program MOL Auto which produces a good first approximation input file from the coordinate file and then you go through and make changes if you think so. Coming to persistence of vision or POV POV ray visualization. You could see the image to understand how POV ray visualization is. The persistence of vision ray pressure most commonly acronymed as POBRE is a cross platform ray tracing program that generates image from a text based scene description. So, it is not applicable exclusively to biological macromolecule, it is applicable to any image formation where ray tracing is involved to make it high resolution. It was originally based on DKB trace written by David Kirk Buck and Aaron A. Collins of Amiga computers. Ray tracing occurs from the camera to the scene and you have to the user have to specify the location of the camera, 
the source of the light, the object on which you need the ray tracing and image formation, the surface structures, atmospheric media like fog, haze or fire. This is the page of Fabre. You will see that the table of contents, documentation and these are kind of high quality figure which made from Fabre. This is a figure of balls which shows like general transparent balls. These are figures of orbitals and these are figure for protein. If you are interested, the links are given. Actually, the links are given in for all of them. You would get them here. Coming to molecular visualization platforms, as I talked about, Rasmol, I have already talked about Rasmol at the history part. Rasmol is the part of history because the first time people start making beautiful figure like it comes to common people through the innovation of Rasmol by Roger SL. So, Rasmol is a computer program written for molecular graphics visualization intended and used mainly to depict and explore biological macromolecular structure such as those found in the protein data bank PDB. It was originally developed by Roger Sale in early 1990s. Rasmol got popularity because it is easy to install, it is widely used, simple, widely used uh, more than 1 million people the then time have used Rasmol for structure, presentation and publication widely used, simple to use for simple operations, sufficient functionality for most of the tasks about representing the 3D molecule, powerful common line interface and it was scriptable, complex operation required common line interface and open source freely available, you get the link of the binaries. Also, one of the strongest thing is having stereo vision. This is the presentation you see of the PDB 1DRO and the presentation have L and R, so stereoscopic presentation. Another software is Chime. Chime is named as Chemical Mime. It is a free molecular VR web browser plugin it was based on Rasmol. It was developed by MDL Information System. The link is provided here. It makes improvement on Rasmol having more commands means more functionality, hypertext button control scripting, animations and for running time what you need is Netscape, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, Windows or Macintosh, a web page designed to use Chime and a PDB file. Protein Explorer is a free software which use the background of Chime. So, Protein Explorer is a free software for visualizing the three dimensional structure of protein, DNA and RNA macromolecules and their interactions and binding of ligands, inhibitors and drugs. It is considered by many expert as the easiest to use software of its kind. It is suitable for high school and college students, yet it is also widely used by graduate students and researchers for their real research. For working, it needs windows with 32 bit, windows 98, NT, 2000, XP, etc. in either Internet Explorer or Netscape 4. It works in Macintosh in Netscape 4 only. In Mac operating system, you must use the classic environment. It can also work in Linux in a Windows emulator. Protein Explorer requires a free browser plugin MDL Chime that renders the 3D molecular image. Again, the link is provided here. 
this is the page of protein explorer where you see the lac repressor complex with an 11 base pair gene regulating protein. So, you see the lac repressor and it is DNA bound to it. So, this is the presentation platform of protein explorer. Coming to CN3D, it is developed by NCBI. Again, open source, the binary is available, the link is provided here. First, OpenGL graphics annotation engine is provided, can fetch a structure over the internet. This is the first of a kind where now you will see this feature in most of the softwares. If you have internet, you could directly fetch the structure, the 3D structure by providing the PDB ID. I am sure that you guys now remember what is the PDB ID and what is a uniprot ID. The PDB ID is unique for a structure, the uniprot ID is unique for a protein. Another feature it brings, it could display protein movies. How? For the NMR ensembles, if you remember in NMR, we do not get a single high resolution structure as we get in X-ray. Rather, we get 20 models at an ensemble. The ensemble is represented as a movie in CN3D. Also, protein folding trajectories are expressed in movies. To get the CN3D structure files, you have to use MMDB files. You have to retrieve those MMDB files using MMDB identifier, PDB identifier, CONSUB domain database, BLAST search, PubMed query, text search. This is the representation of CN3D, the structure of hen egg white lysozyme, which is complex with tri N acetyl chitotriose. It is a small molecule which is complex with egg white lysozyme. Swiss PDB viewer, the PDB structure viewer with structure utilities, though I told most of them are molecular viewer, Swiss PDB viewer is also having facility of modification. Superposition to compare proteins and their components such as active binding site, these are available. It could measure angle, distance between atoms, manual or automated homology modeling including loop modeling as a specialty, threading or fold recognition. So, it could do model building by different ways by homology, by threading and it could also perform mutation as well as energy minimization. It also take as I talked about Pobre which do the rendering. So, it take the interface of Pobre to make the picture quality better. This is the platform where the protein DNA and other macromolecules are displayed. So, it contains thousands of menu options which are reasonably well categorized. You could see the window here all the options are there. You click and you get a lot of option for each of the components here, file, edit, select, build, tools, fit, any of them. These are also options where you could get distance, you could define the angles and all those you know, facilities. The button bars for image manipulation, center, zoom, move, rotate and some structure measurement and mutation tools which you could see here. Also, there are layers window to select from multiple layers. You could see 3D structure display window with nice rendering. So, this is the layer information here, different layers are having different macromolecules, different structures and this is as I talked about the main display where the 3D structure is displayed. There are many other visualization platforms because of time constant, I could not talk about all of them, 
but just to mention about few of them again in very brief jmol jmol is an open source java based program available in stand alone or applet forms the applet is used in protopedia if you didn't heard about protopedia this is a very interesting collection of 3d macromolecular structures and in the free educational software which is called molecular workbench. Qtmol, Qtmol is an open source GPL interactive high quality molecular visualization system. Qtmol produces images in real time by running algorithms that rely on modern graphic card features including programmable fragment and vertex shader and frame and vertex buffer objects. UCSF Chimera or simply Chimera is an extensible program for interactive visualization and analysis of molecular structures and related data including density maps, supramolecular assemblies, sequence alignments, docking results, trajectories and conformational ensembles. It is a very widely used program and it is a really good platform. VMD, VMD is a molecular visualization program for displaying, animating and analyzing large biomolecular system using 3D graphics and built in scripting. VMD name for visual molecular dynamics by UIUC biophysics group, University of Illinois, Urbana. VMD support computers running Mac operating system, Unix, Windows is distributed free of charge and include source code. There are many of them, but this is a brief description of few of the popular visualization softwares. But as I talked about at the initial stage, my focus would be on Pymol. So, Pymol is a user sponsored molecular visualization system on an open source foundation maintained and distributed by Schrodinger. Pymol is a molecular visualization program which is written in the language Python. It is a molecular graphics program that can be freely downloaded and installed on Windows or Linux PCs as well as Apple computers running Mac operating system and other Unix based systems. These are the links you could download it for free. Stand alone Pymol binaries for Windows provide the easiest installation. You have to download the Pymol installer file, install Pymol by clicking on setup.exe and then Pymol could now be launched from the start menu of the computer. This is the first page of Pymol, I will show you through a demonstration. You see here there are command input area here, you could provide command, but you have a lot of menus like if you see here file, edit, build, movie, display, setting, scene, mouse, wizard, plugin, help. But there is another window, this window have other options, I will talk about all this and there is another window which is connected with the display area, again few menus action, A, S, show, H, hide, L, label, label, C, color. So, you could do a lot of things here, you could also have different options here, you could do sequence view, you could uh, control the mouse and all of this you could do using them. So, if you remember while I was talking about code, I talked about beta lactamase as a protein and described it. Today also I will talk about few proteins, I will show you how they could be displayed, how they could be studied. So, to go there, first we will go for opening a new structure. 
So, how to open a structure in PyMall? If you have the PDB file saved with you, you have to go in one way. If you know the PDB ID of the structure, then there is other option. So, if you have the PDB file saved with you, you go to the PyMall terminal, you open the PyMall terminal, you go to the file, open and choose the desired file from the desired location. Then click on open and you get the PDB structure displayed on your display window which I showed you. If you know the PDB ID of the structure, open the PyMall terminal and type the following command to open the PDB file fetch, then you put the PDB ID of the structure you want to see. Here as I told in this command information, you could put fetch and then PDB ID, here the PDB ID given is 1ZG4. You could provide color to the protein, you could choose a particular color for your enzyme and you could note the RGB values. RGB values are excellent representation of color, R is red, G is green and B is blue, red, green, blue is RGB. So, providing the value of all three of them the mixing gives you a new color. Here you could see, you could pick any color, you could have select the color and you get the RGB value, this is the RGB color code and for different of them you see you could travel from lighter to darker. In the command input area type the following command set underscore color name red float green float. So, float means you have to put the value. After this common type the next common would be set cartoon underscore color name. So, if you put 0 1 0 2 0 and which is the color hey set cartoon underscore color comma hey you will get to see the color. You could see the protein in cartoon mode, I will show you in presentation on the protein tab on the right hand of the side, you have to choose show as cartoon. So, you will see this representation where this representation is called cartoon. Electrostatics, electrostatics is a very critical representation, it would not only represent the protein surface but also tell you about the electrostatic property of the protein and in many cases that have functional significance. So, you go to the tab, protein tab and choose action, generate action means the A I have showed you, generate vacuum electrostatic of the protein contact potential and you will get here, see there you have seen the white color portion, right? The white color portion represent hydrophobicity or hydrophobic property of the surface. The blue one not only presenting the hydrophilic part, but also present the presence of positive charge or you could say nitrogen. The red part is presenting negative charge, you could say oxygen. So, how beautifully the three component of the protein, the three element majorly develop the protein are presented here. White is the color of carbon majorly, blue is the color of nitrogen and red is the color of oxygen. With that, I will show you the demonstration of different aspects of PyMol. So, now you see this is the software PyMol 
as I was talking about. So, this is the educational version. So, it is for educational use only. So, as I told here you could write comments. First, let us load a biological macromolecule. You have to click file, then you have to go for open and then you have to go to the desired folder and then you click a pdb file. So, this is a pdb file which is representing a DNA. Now, you could move the DNA, you could rotate the DNA using your mouse. Also, what you could do if you do not like the background, you could change the background, you also could have see the sequence. So, you see the sequence, this is one strand and this is the other strand. So, you could have select one strand and this come here. You remember these are the 5 A for action, S for show, H for hide, L for label to do the labeling and C for color. So, you go to action and you do the rename because if you do not rename there might be a problem later when you select the other one. So, you could say chain A DNA. So, you save here the beautiful option which Phimol is providing you is that you could go to file and you could look at the options where you could do the export molecule. So, when you look at export molecule, you see your selected chain A underscore DNA is also there and you save it. So, you name it as chain A DNA and you save it. Now, you have nothing here, you go there, you open and you get the chain A DNA and you see that the single strand DNA is present. So, in that way you could save a part of the 3D structure which is enabling you to do a lot of differential figure development, presentation according to the science you want to present. So, that is one thing. Then, if you want to present, what type of presence you could make? So, if you go to wizard and go to demo section and you do the representations, you see you could have a lot of different representations. So, we have make the single chain of the DNA. Now, we will also bring DNA protein. So, again every time you have to go to file, you have to open, then you have to go to DNA protein. So, you see that the protein is interacting. If you see the certain part of the protein is still there, basically they form a dimer. I have picked out a monomer here. When you look at, you will see that for a DNA, there is a major group and a minor group. The interaction of a protein with the DNA happened mostly on the major group and as you see here, you will see the helix which is directly interacting in the major group, there is a loop and there is helix. So, this is a typical super secondary structure motif. You remember when we are going through the protein structure, protein domain, I talked about there are super secondary structural domain which helps you to 
understand the function directly. You do not even know about the protein, but when you see a helix loop, helix, helix, turn, helix, you know that this protein is involved in protein DNA interaction, which you could see here. Now, if you see, remember I talked about display when you represent the protein, you could now select the protein as I talked, you get the get a sile and again you could rename it to prot. Now, if you come to prot and you make different representations, you could have see those change in the representation. So, if you hide everything, you do not get and then you could have come up with different changes like it was presented as usual as a cartoon. Now, if you again hide, you could show in ribbons that is a different representation. It was a cartoon, now it is a ribbon. Now, you want to show other ones, so you show sticks and you will see that this is presented as sticks. So, these are different type of representation of the protein which will help you understanding about them. So, those are the things we could do by the help of Pymol. As I told, if you see there are so many options in each of the menu, you could open a new Pymol window, you could open a file, anything, you could get recent file which you have used, you could get a PDB by giving the PDB ID if you are connected to the internet. Also, there is a very interesting option available in Pymol which is called saving the session. When I have saved, if you remember the PDB, the part of the DNA, it was saved as a PDB file, dot PDB file. It generates a, the coordinates again as a part of the two strand or double strand DNA. But if you want to save the changes you made in the session you are working, you will do save session and if you see the format is dot p s e or dot p z e. If you save it like test, you save it, you could directly open the session. I would show you, let us show. If we cut, we will go and to the file where it was there, you click and you save it. So, once you want to see the fonts, if it is not like good enough to see, you could go to setting, you could do edit all, you could bring display and you enhance the scale. If you enhance the scale, it would be very big. So, 2 I think is a good number. So, you could see that you come back to the exactly same confirmation where you have ended. Okay. Now, if you want to see protein singly, you open a protein, let us open one ake dot pdb. So, if you see, you will see that this is a dimer. How to make it a monomer? First, you go to C, the color and color by chain. When you do that, 
you see as you have correctly predicted this is the dimer they produce. So, a dimer is a oligomer with two chains. So, when you color chains differently you get sky blue color to one chain and green color to the other chain. Now, if you need the monomer see you could save it if you want to save the waters you could save here the complete if you if not then you could save up to this. So, you get CLA and you rename it this is 1 AKE. So, you make 1 AKE underscore mon. So, you could now export the molecule and you get 1 AKE underscore mon and you could save it 1 AKE underscore mon. Okay. Now, if we see there is any other file, we see 4 AKE dot PDB. So, this is 4 AKE dot PDB. If we color them by chain, you will get 2 chains. So, you know this is a dimer also. Now, what you could do? You could again make a monomer out of that. You could save and you could rename it as you did the first one 4 ake underscore mon and then you could save this by export molecule where you get 4 ake underscore mol and save it as Four AKE underscore mall. Now they saved as monomers, but they are also exist as dimers. So, is it possible to align them if you try to align one AKE? with the 4 AKE. You see that you did a alignment. Is it a good alignment? How you could decide the alignment to be a good alignment or a bad alignment? The decision comes through a statistical technique which is called root mean square deviation or RMSD. Here you see the RMSD value is calculated and the RMSD value is calculated for 3370 atoms, the value is 18. What is the significance of this RMSD value? If your RMSD comes in between 3, then you declare the two structure have similar folds. So, this conclude that this two structure does not have a similar fold. You agree with me? If you agree with me, then you come and make a fool of yourself. What I mean? Now, you compare between 1 a k and 4 a k. In 1 a k, the first residue is m. The first residue of 4 a k is m. R, R, I, 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 L, 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 G, G. What is going on? Basically, put some time and you will realize that 1 A K and 4 A K are representing same molecule. So, why you get so high RMSD? Because we 
did not take care of a fundamental aspect. I make this mistake so that you all remember a very, very critical thing about the structures. What is that critical thing? The critical thing is about the symmetry. Remember I talked about the symmetries. Whatever the symmetries are, suppose this is a monomer and this is a monomer. It depends on the building up that this symmetry, those two protein would be coming like this or this or that. So, they could be rotating in this screw axis. So, you should never remember very, very correctly, this is one of the most fundamental relation to use molecular visualization or to deal with structure. You never align two structures in their oligomer. Whenever you need to align or compare two structures, you always make monomer out of them. Are we already make monomers? So, let us see if we take the monomers, what will happen? So, we take them out again a new screen appears and we go open 1 a k e underscore mon and open 4 a k e underscore mon. They are they are now now do the alignment. So, align this is as I told the common common input area. So, 1 a k e underscore mon 4 a k e underscore mon. So, we have 2 so better we could have these two structures and when so 4 a k e underscore mon and you see that they have perfect alignment with the value of 2.069. Now, you understand? So, the RMSD value of 18.69 is reduced to 2.069. So, I hope you have understood and you have take a very important relation from the current study that whenever you want to compare to structures, you will never do that in their dimer, trimer, tetramer that means oligomers. You always do the first initial step, you convert the oligomer to monomer and then compare the two monomers. Now, there are some smart people between you who will ask, okay sir, we understand, but you have shown us that these two protein are same. Then why even the difference of 2.069? 2.069 is only telling us that they are having similar fold, but what we see they are same, so they should be align totally with a RMSD value of 0. And if you are thinking, you are thinking in a right way, but there is a trick. What is the trick? This is the enzyme called adenylate kinase. Adenylate kinase have a beautiful history that it could thermodynamically stable in two conformations. So, now if you look it very carefully, you will see that among the two structures, the if I take this right, the blue structure 
have a p 5 and if I take it out the redis structure redis brown you could say is not bound to anything. In the language of biochemistry we call the conformation adopted in the crystal structure with the PDVID 4 AKE as open structure and this as closed. So, you could have probably now understand that there is a change of conformation this part of the structure come down and the coming down is responsible because of the presence of AP5. Kinases if you go and check in the literature are enzymes which go through a huge conformational change. They have a big loop called P loop and this P loop change its conformation, it is open to close, close to open and this is how a protein declares its state of work, it have to do some reaction or not. When it is in the open state, it is not working. When it is in the closed state, it brings the substrate together, start the reaction and this is one of the way it reduces the activation energy. If you remember, I told you for a reaction to happen, the del G should always be negative for a spontaneous reaction. For biological reaction, a lot of time the reaction have to be initiated and initiation means the achieving of the activation barrier. If you be in the laboratory, in the chemical laboratory you produce heat, you produce pressure and all those external powers to start a reaction. Whereas, you cannot do that in physiological condition, you cannot eat some food and then sit on the burner so that the heat comes on your body through the burner, right? It cannot happen, right? You would be destroying yourself. You cannot put pressure in your mouth from the external source. So, how the reactions are possible in physiological condition in the normal pH and temperature? Enzymes are responsible for that and to overcome those barrier, they have to do something and this is a something you could see here. Also this talks about the switching because you could imagine the body, the cell as a factory, right? But in the factory, there is a in charge in his or her decision stop the button and close the functionality. Who will do that in the body? This is done by such type of switching from open state to closed state which decided the protein is going to be functional or not going to be functional. So, we have learned all these things. Now, if you see the protein of our interest, you will see interesting things. So, the window is already crowded. So, I will start from the beginning with the file. If you remember the dot .psc file we have. So, we have the dot .psc file. I will again make the setting for good bigger view which is 2 is good enough 
you could see now. Now, we have the protein, we hide everything and we present this cartoon and then we could go find the different properties. If you see the action is delete selection, you could delete the selection, you could rename as we have used, you could zoom it, you could orient it, center it, go to the origin, you could drag the coordinate, you could clean the labels, you could modify around, expand, extend, invert, complete, restrict, include, exclude, you could do the preset, you could do find, right? When you go to find polar contacts, you get many options. When you go to any contacts, you get options 3, 3.5, 4. When you go to pi interaction, it would tell you like what type of pi interaction. So, all this type of interactions you could make, you could align from there, you could align through comment also. Okay. So, these are all we could do with the options and then you could go to generate, generate selection, different type of selections, symmetry mates, who are the symmetry mates here, vacuum electrostatics. When you do vacuum electrostatics, if you remember, I talk about that. So, you get three colors, one is blue color, another is red color, another is white color. Did you see anything special here? If you do not, then I am telling you, you see a big blue part in the small protein. Why this protein have this unusually big blue stretch? This is because this protein is a DNA binding protein and if you see the charge of the DNA surface, this is made by phosphate. So, this is negative charge. So, to bind to the negative charge to interact with the phosphate, the protein have a huge zone of positive charge. So, looking at the electrostatic as I told, you could see some signs. Looking at the positive charge, you understand that this protein have a possibility of binding to the negatively charged molecule here that is proven because this protein is binding to the DNA which is negatively charged. So, all such kind of informations we will get through the view of pi mol. So, to finish uh, today's session, I have talked about the basics of pi mol. You see the windows, this is the windows with menu where there are file, edit, build, movie, display, setting, scene, mouse, wizard, plugin and help. So, you could have used a lot of all of them. There are a lot of options. The builder option which is coming at a later stage giving you opportunity to modify. Remember I talked about Coot is a model builder software. O, Coot, SPDB viewer and all of them. Pymol is also updated and going through giving you the option where it could develop fragment, it could add residues, it could do sculpting, a lot of you know different building options are there. There are movies where you could develop movies in click, then there are display options as I have shown you, you could have display sequence which you did, then you could go to stereo mode, different type of stereo and then you could do overlay, 
you could change the background generally we keep the background white you see when you make it white taking picture is easier which i will show you in the next part of the talk in the next class also i talked about these where you have five options a s h l and c a is action i have shown you different options in action then so will give you different option again to represent your biological macromolecule in or as lines non bonded as ticks as spheres as ribbons as cotton as dots as maze so you do different see you will get different presentation see now you will understand that the part where the dna comes and interact is basically showing the positive charge so you could do all of them then you could hide all the option you have given you could label the residues the chain segments atom name element symbol residue name one letter code residue identifier a lot of them b factor occupancy van der waal radius what not and then you could color you could color by element by chain by second structure by representation representation of lines ticks ribbon cartoon and all these things then you could also bring different colors remember i talked about here you get the variations of red greens blues yellows magenta cyan oranges teens grays but if you go to rgb provide rgb crow code you could even provide more colors which we have already discussed now here also there are a lot of options you could reset zoom orient and one of them is rastering which is ray rastering make the structure more finer when you are using ray you are actually giving your structure much better so you could have save it as a figure so you see the changes this is the ray is performed the rastering the rendering we have learned which came through the innovation of pop ray it is now applied regularly on the biological macromolecule to develop high resolution structures so in that way we could have perform a lot of calculations and i will finish the first demonstration of pymol in that stage so this is the slide where i left and go to demonstration now coming back to this so in this journey we have learned the basics we talked about the visualization software the visualization platform we take them into four step one is the first one the otep then the scripting one mol script bob script then the rendering pobre raster 3d and then all the platforms we have talked about them we have introduced them but we come to talk in detail about the software called pymol i talk about the basics of pymol pymol is written in python and then after talking about the basics we come to the demonstration of different aspect first going to the window how to open a pdb file then how you could define different aspects in the pdb file how we could you could look at the pdb file the pdb file could be represented in like a cartoon like a or like a ribbon like sticks in all of such representations you could also change the color there are different color options present in the pymol window you directly click them and you could do them but there are also rgb codes which gives you the universal 
ability to put any and every possible colors. Then we look at the alignment to do structural alignment what we have learned is we must go and make the oligomer. So, we understood that the oligomer any oligomer we have to make monomer and then do the alignment. This is a very fundamental lesson we have learned which is true to understand the structural biology. Then we see the change of conformations in a protein which is clear to us how the protein functions. So, in addition to the basic visualization, we go into the deep thought of function, the functional understanding comes through the comparison of the two conformers of the protein adenylate kinase. We see the protein exists in open form when the substrate not come and bind to it and when the substrate come it just come down and make close conformation which is the proper conformation to perform the enzymatic catalysis. Very interesting for you guys to learn. Now, if you see what are the residue present in the protein and how they are interacting with the substrate, you will find the atomic level reasoning of this. You will get into the deeper science and all these are possible by learning the software PyMol. So, with that I will finish this class. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks.